But I made a post that was like, I was like, hey, does anyone have any questions? And normally we get 10, 15, 20. Um, and like, we got like two questions. So then I quote tweeted and saying like, is, are people just like not really interested in disc golf anymore? Like what's going on? And uh, the t- one of the top response was personally, I find tour life a lot less interesting when one or both of the hosts aren't touring or trying to tour actively. So I get that of where, like, if we don't have, you know, if neither one, that's why I liked having Ezra and Aaron on here to talk about the courses because they played them. So that makes sense. Um, another person said, neither of you guys are playing right now. We would like to know what your plans for next season. Your contract with Discraft is up. My con- I think that's mine. My contract is up. But what are your plans for next season? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be touring. Now, how I tour is with the one that's up in the air. Because I have a new baby girl, my wife. I want them with me. But I also am going to be playing a lot of events. I plan on playing a full tour. Full tour, meaning there's always new events that pop up. Who knows what that means, but... Sure. Enough. I, I plan on playing enough to like give myself a chance to qualify for the tour championships and do the things that I, that, I, that a touring player typically does. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I plan on playing as well next year. I don't know how many events, uh, I probably will play maybe a little bit more locally at some more events more, you know, maybe not travel as much. This is, uh, you know, the upcoming year is probably the first year that me and Kelsey will start having the questions of whether or not we want to start a family. So obviously you recommend it. <laughs> obviously Yuli, you know how that goes and how a lot of that stuff changes. And also you guys, you guys, the people that have been around and have followed me for a while, you guys know this is like my third or fourth project, my third or fourth career, whatever you want to call it. Like I've been doing a lot of stuff for a really long time. And so it's not like I just started playing disc golf in 2020 and I haven't done anything. Like I traveled a lot, a lot for my last jobs with Frisbee trick shots with ultimate. So I've been doing this for a very, very long time as, as have you, Yuli. And you know, as you grow through life, your priorities change, think things change. And so I hope you guys understand that we're still doing the podcast. I still love talking about disc golf, but things change. And so, you know, 10 years ago, what I was after, what I was getting after was probably a lot different than what my life is now. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can understand that. Um, let's see here. We'll give a couple more. Uh, NPC says it wasn't super fun watching one player run away with tournaments. I miss Ricky Paul close battles. It was a close battle. Actually, when you think about it, uh, it got within three, right? Three with a putt from 30 feet to bring it within two with only a few holes to go. It was a little iffy there for a second. Wasn't it with Ricky too? I mean, of all uh, exactly, people. exactly. Yeah. So I felt like it was pretty dang close coming down the stretch. Uh, Donald says, are you going to put in the work to compete next year or are you done? I guess we'll both answer that question. I don't know. I probably was directing that more to me than you, Yuli. <laughs> I, I think that, um, I, I, I think that that's a silly question for, for either of us. I feel like if, uh, we plan on playing on tour, that's exactly what we're going to do. Put in the work. I'm not the type of person, nor have I ever been that it's going to come in soft or unprepared. Only time that's ever happened was when I hurt my leg and, um, I still came in like almost in the best shape of my life and did my best. So yeah, if I, if I, when I play next year, I will be playing with full, with the full intention of being as good as I can possibly be. Yeah. And and my answer is probably a little bit different. Like I still plan on playing next year, but, um, I'm just kind of going back to when I was single and playing ultimate, that was my entire life, right? Like everything I did 
I had the thought and the intention of how do I become the best ultimate Frisbee player in the world? And that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. It takes yes, a lot, it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of everything. There's just so many things that I want to do and so many things that I want to experience. And this is like the conversation that I'll probably have with Discraft at some point and see what they say and see what they want to do. Um, you know, and, and it's like, I don't want to completely remove myself from the game of disc golf, but I also don't want to make my entire life disc golf. That, that time has passed. Right. And I know that. So can I still practice here and there and be competitive? Potentially. Yeah, potentially for sure. But I'd be lying to you guys. If I told you that I was going to wake up and go out and practice five to seven hours every day and put myself in the same position that I put myself with ultimate. I have too many other things I have going on in my life that I love and I'm not willing to do that. I'm not willing to sacrifice and do that for disc golf. I'm just, I'm not. And if you're upset with that, that's fine. You can totally be upset with it, but uh, that's just the reality of it. You know? Hey, it is. And, and I, you know, one of the most important things for an athlete is you got to be honest with yourself. You know, like a lot of people lie to themselves as athletes and be, and they're like, Oh, I can do that. But it, deep down they know like it's not possible. And that's not fair to the people who support you too. So being completely honest and, vulnerable that's super important now i can't disc golf's my life (laughs) i want people to understand like that to be perfect this is all i've ever done i've never had a side gig like brody i've never gone and tried this or that or or another thing since i made it my life like and this is something that my wife knows like this is what i do it is what i do it's everything to me and i that's what you that's what you have to do to be the best you have to be obsessed with it yeah and and i and i am i am completely obsessed you how long have you known me brody do you think that i would ever show up to a tour and not practice and blah 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 blah? no 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 you're obsessed you're obsessed with disc golf yeah there's no there's no way there's no other option for me and that's what's gotten me to where i am now so why would i ever give that up yeah and i think you know there's just other things right now that i want to i've always just said you know when kelsey was talking about going back and cheerleading she was like, I haven't done it for a couple years. I don't know. Like she was really on the fence of yeah. going back. Cause obviously that is a scary thing to do. To, if you've ever, I mean, if you guys have watched Netflix, the, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleading, you know exactly what Kelsey, and that's just like, that's just the tip of the iceberg. So you know how crazy that, that, that cheerleading world is. And so her wanting to go back into that, that's a huge step. And my, my, my advice was, listen, 10 years from now, you're not going to be able to do this. And are you going to be kicking yourself for not giving it a go? Are you? That's, that's what you have to be asking. Like, I think it's worth the risk of going out there and getting cut. And you know, the, the, that, that's, that's scary, but I think it's worth, worth the risk to do. Yeah. So Um, that's kind of how I view my life right now is there are so many different things I want to do. There's so many different avenues that I want to take. And I am in the position right now where I can do a lot of different things. And I don't know if that's going to be the case 10 years from now. And I want, I want to kind of do that. I want to kind of see everything. And like I said, to I've trust me, I know what it takes to be the tippity top of a sport. It takes a lot of time a lot of effort. You can't really afford to be doing a bunch of other stuff at the same time. And, um, I'm just not willing to sacrifice that. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's just, that's just what it is. That's just what it is, man. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, MIT says I'm burnout too. fell back in love with the sport during COVID started playing tournaments. I barely played this year after my last tourney currently taking a six month break plus worlds is done. I don't really care for the playoffs or the disc golf pro tour championship. Good on you. Go dude. Go, <laughs> go do what makes you happy, Bubba. 
I don't know what am I supposed to respond to Yeah, that. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, get after it. Here you go. How do pros seem to get so much effortless spin? I throw in the 60 to 65 mile per hour range, but can't get my spin rate over 800. That's probably your grip. Honestly, spin comes directly from that. Um, if you're already throwing 65 miles per hour, that's, that's like as fast as I throw it. And I throw it with a lot of spin. I think it'd probably be a grip issue. Either that or right at impact, you might like pop nose up or something. Uh, let's see here. Howard Disc Golf Academy. We have all kinds of lessons where you can check that out. Go check it out. There you go. Uh, let me see if I have one more good one to end on. Yeah, let's take one from the live. Silas, throw when someone asks a good question from the live, we'll throw it up here for the people. Moon, I'm not going anywhere. Moon says you'll be missed, Brody. Good luck to your you and your future endeavors. I think you have good. I, I'm not going anywhere, brother. <laughs> I'm just I'm just not going to be practicing 50 hours of disc golf a week, and that's what you have to do. 